Good afternoon. That is our top story. Today is the 12th anniversary of the Affordable Care Act, and members of La Congress in La Crosse today said they hope to take the ACA a step further. And News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us live in the studio tonight with what's next in the Build Back Better bill. Amy and Jordan, a part of the Build Back Better bill, which has already been passed by the House, hopes to address rising prescription drug costs and insulin prices are at the forefront. I've been diabetic for 22 years. I used syringes to give my insulin until I was 19. I gave myself at least four shots a day, every day, for 14 years. For someone with type 1 diabetes, insulin is a lifeline. Without insulin, their blood sugars will get too high, um, leading them to things like coma or even death. And insulin is a big price to pay for someone's life. In the U.S., we pay two to three times more than any other wealthy country for uh, prescription medications. For Sarah Beer, the monthly cost of diabetic supplies is high. $1,604.21. Those costs don't just affect Sarah. Thousands of Wisconsinites are living with diabetes, and insulin prices have only gone up. Lawmakers hope to change that with a clause in the Build Back Better bill. The other thing that was included in that bill was putting a cap on the cost of insulin. Right. That would cap insulin at $35 a month. We're working closely to try to get uh, some of our Republican colleagues on board with this. But insulin isn't the only cost. Sarah says of her $1,600 bill, insulin costs about $300 of it. The other is mostly for supplies to administer the insulin. Democrats acknowledge their bill won't reduce all costs, but believe it would lay a good foundation. We've got to start somewhere, and I think this would be a very important place to start. The lawmakers I spoke with today say they're working across the aisle to get the bill through to the Senate. We requested a comment from Senator Ron Johnson, but have not heard back. Amy and Jordan? All right, thank you, Emily. Now, on top of this legislation, Civica Rx, a nonprofit co founded by Mayo Clinic, plans to manufacture and distribute affordable insulin. They hope to have that option available by 2024. 